Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to install and configure a read only domain controller. A read only domain controller is a domain controller in the Windows Server environment that stores a read only replica of the active directory database. Unlike a writable domain controller, an RODC does not allow any changes to the active directory database from that particular domain controller. This limitation makes it an ideal choice for scenarios where security is significant concern such as remote offices, branch locations or sites with lower physical security. An RODC does not perform any outbound replication and accepts only inbound replication connections from the writable domain controllers. Because the RODC has only a read-only copy of the Active Directory database, the administrator needs to connect to a writable domain controller to make changes to the Active Directory. In this video, we will use IFM deployment option to install and configure RODC on Windows Server 2022. Open File Explorer. On C drive, create a folder named IFM RODC to store the IFM media files. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At PowerShell, type command NTDS Util and press Enter key. At the NTDS Util prompt, type Activate Instance NTDS and then press Enter. Type IFM and then press enter again. This time, type command create syswall RODC and specify the location to store the media files. A store in the folder which we have created earlier. Type location C colon IFM hyphen RODC. Now press enter key to create IFM media files in the folder named IFM RODC. We can see the message converting full DC IFM media to read only DC IFM media. Since we want to deploy read only domain controller, we will choose this option. The process completes and writes the directory data to the specified folder for our RODC deployment. Go back to the file explorer. Double click on IFM RODC folder. Here we can see two folders, copy of ADDS database and copy of syswall folder. You can copy this data to any location including network shares and external hard drives to be accessed during the deployment of the read-only domain controller. So we have successfully created the IFM media file. Now we need to use this installation media file to deploy the RODC. This is our second Windows Server 2022 VM on which we want to install and configure read-only domain controller. Log on to the server in which you will be deploying the ADDS role and promoting to be a RODC. Ensure that you can access the IFM media file set either from a network share or a copy saved on a removable drive. I have already copied the IFM folder from our domain controller. I have stored the IFM folder on our desktop that you can see here. Let's start by installing the Active Directory Domain Services server rule on this server. Launch Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. Click Next. Make sure Rule Base of Feature Base Installation is selected. Click Next. Select your local server from the list. Click Next. Select Active Directory Domain Services. On a dialog box, Asking to install features that are required for ADDS, click Add Features to accept the installation of these features. Then click Next. We do not need any additional features. So here, I'm just going to click Next. Click on Install to start the installation of Active Directory Domain Services on this server. The wizard displays an installation progress page that charts the progress of installation. After a few seconds, it displays the page that informs you that Active Directory Domain Services role has been installed successfully. 
Now we will add this server as a read only domain controller in our existing ad domain msftwebcast.com using the ifm media files which we have stored on the desktop. Click on promote this server to a domain controller. This will open the Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard with Deployment Configuration page. Make sure Add a Domain Controller to an existing domain option is selected. Since the server is not joined to the existing domain, you will need to click the Change button to enter in Domain Administrator credentials. Click on Change. Type Domain Administrator's username which is administrator at msftwebcast.com. Now type the password and click on OK. Since we have a single domain AD Forest, the domain name will be filled automatically. If you have multiple domains in your forest, click on Select and choose the domain for which you want to add a new read-only domain controller. In our case, msftwebcast.com is the name of our existing Active Directory domain. Now click Next to continue. On the Domain Controller Options page, select the Read Only Domain Controller checkbox. Select the correct site name, uh, which is default first site name in our example. Type a Directory Service Restore Mode password in the Password and Confirm Password text boxes. Click Next to continue. On the RODC Options page, Click Select in the Delegated Administrator Account section. A Delegated Administrator has local administrative permission to the RODC even though the account is not a member of the Domain Admin or Domain Built-in Administrators group. When the Select User or Group dialog box opens, type the name of the account to be used as a Delegated Administrator in the Enter the Object Names to select text box and click on OK. Because RODC needs to be as secure as possible, you can configure each RODC to have its own password replication policy. On Writable Domain Controller, Active Directory passwords are stored locally within the entities.dit file. Because the RODC is put in a place where the security cannot be guaranteed, you can specify a particular list of user or group accounts whose password information should be stored or cached on a particular RODC. For example, if you have a branch office, you can configure the RODC to catch only passwords for those users who are member of the branch office users security group. Please take a note, only allowed accounts would be authenticated using read-only domain controller. In addition, you can configure specific users or groups whose password information should not be cached on RODC such as administrative accounts. To allow enterprise-wide configuration of the RODC password replication policy, Windows Server 2022 creates two security groups, denied RODC password replication group and allowed RODC password replication group. On RODC options page, now click next to continue. On the additional options page, check the box for install from media. Under the path field, specify or browse to the path of the folder containing the IFM data files. Let's browse to the path and select the IFM folder which we have stored on the desktop. Expand desktop and select IFM RODC folder. Click OK. The wizard will verify the path and contents of the folder which we have selected. If everything is OK, now we can click Next to continue. On the Paths page, confirm the location for ADDS database files, log files and syswall. You can either use the default location or select another folder of your choice. In this example, will go with the default locations. Click Next. Confirm your selections on the Review Options screen and click Next. Windows will then perform a prerequisites check. After the wizard performs a prerequisites check, click Install to promote the server to a domain controller using the Install from Media option. The process will promote the server using the offline IFM data 
to speed up the promotion process. The installation process takes a few moments to complete and progress is listed in the operation results box. Note any messages that might appear on the progress section of the installation page. The process is completed successfully. Now server is going to be restarted automatically. The server is now successfully added as read-only domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain using IFM option. To confirm that, let's go to our writable domain controller. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand Domain, Expand Domain Controllers OU. Here we can see the WS2022-ROTC computer account with DC type read only. That represent a read only domain controller in msftwebcast.com domain. After you have deployed the RODC, you can configure the allowed RODC password replication group and denied RODC password replication group membership to manage your RODC password replication policy. To modify the password replication policy, right click on your RODC and select properties. The password replication policy is shown in the password replication policy tab. To add new entries, click the add button. Choose the settings for the account you are adding to the password replication policy. I'll select allow passwords for the account to replicate to this RODC. Click OK. I have created one group, BO users, which you want to add here. Click OK. We can see the entry for BO users and settings is saying allow. If you want to remove any existing entries, that time you just need to select that entry and click on remove to remove that entry from the password replication policy. Click on advanced button and here we can see the accounts whose passwords are stored on read-only domain controller. At this moment, the computer account of read-only domain controller and KRP TGT account's password is cached on our read-only domain controller. So at this point, we have successfully installed and configured a read-only domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain. And that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.